Greetings, Jets Moto followers and just folks are meandering onto the channel. Uh, this is Jets here and I'm doing a little 55,000 mile check-in on my 2018 Triumph Bonneville T120. Uh, she just rolled over 55,000 miles. Uh, I've been running great. I uh, just got to fill up. Uh, last tank was, oh, it's not going to show me until I turn it on. 59 miles per gallon. That's been pretty good, consistent. Uh, bike's been running very well. Um, currently running the, I'm running at 140 in the back. This is a Shinko 006 podium. I uh, put that on a few thousand miles ago. It's coming to coming to life pretty soon. Uh, chain and sprockets were replaced at, I uh, believe, 45,000. Uh, so I'm probably going to be due in the next five, ten thousand miles for another chain and sprocket. Uh, that will be set number four I'll be putting on. They are lasting around 20 to 25,000 miles uh, chain and sprocket sets. Um, you know, got my chrome covers. They still look just as good as when I first got them. Um, you know, at 55,000 miles, what can you expect? The bike is a really officially broken in now. Um, you know, it's... It has quirkiness about it when you run it, which is, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's broken in. It doesn't feel as tight and new as it used to, but it's not a bad thing. It's running great and it's broken into to my liking. Uh, currently the bike's set up for touring. I do a lot of riding. I've been doing about 1200 miles to 1500 miles a week. Um, this full, you know, it's prime riding season here in Vermont. As you can tell, it's absolutely stunning. It's been like this a lot lately, so it's really easy for me to get 1,500 miles on in a week. Uh, I got a couple big trips planned in the next couple of weeks. Uh, hoping to get down into Florida, and uh, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, maybe even go up into Maine a little bit. We'll see. It's just going to be kind of an East Coast kind of travel. I was going to go to California. It didn't ha happen this year. Thanks, COVID-19. Uh, also, marks 10,000 miles on my alloy conversion with bandit 1200 up brake upgrade and i've got to say i'm really pleased with the alloys i'm noticing much better miles per gallon like you just saw 59 miles per gallon i'm not the easiest on the throttle although this last tank was pretty light uh, i usually see about 55 to 60 miles per gallon on average now with the alloy conversion uh, 17 inch front 17 inch rear uh, 20.4 pound weight reduction definitely worth the money uh, especially if you're gonna run ZR radial tires you know which are super well balanced super light uh, they're gonna yield just some good miles per gallon so like I said I'm running the 140 pretty happy with it I like the size of the 140 it's a little smaller makes the bike a little more twitchy but also it lets it turn in a lot quicker I have had no performance problems or handling problems um, in fact, if anything, I have increased my handling with a 17-inch conversion. And as you can tell, I really, really chewing that, chewing that peg out. Pot filter still, no problems. I just cleaned them. It's gonna be due in a couple more thousand miles for the uh, 7,000 mile service or uh, 5,000 mile service I do. Uh, it's gonna be at the big 60,000, so that'll be the third valve check I'll perform on it. Um, I'm guessing everything's going to be in spec. The bike starts great. doesn't have any kind of chatter in the valve train. Um, it's just working really well. So, uh, not much else to report on, guys. I'm just eating the miles up like crazy right now. It's, the, it's just the perfect weather for this stuff. Um, you know, that road is just beckoning me right now. Like, I'm going to wrap this one up, I think. So uh, if you guys want to know if I've had any issues or whatnot, of course, check my other videos. My 45,000 uh, 45, mile review, I really go in the details of 
what went wrong, uh, especially the first year. This has not been a bed of roses type relationship. The first year was very troublesome, um, but uh, as the bike has grown up and broken in, uh, it has been less and less troublesome. In fact, it's been pretty problem free uh, for the most part, especially this year. I've got almost, what, 10, 12,000 miles on it this year so far. So, and I have had no problem. Starts up, goes, runs. You know, all asks for is an oil change and some spark plugs every, you know, 20,000 miles or so. And even then, it doesn't probably need them, but I change them because it's part of the interval. So, like I said, the best upgrade was putting these tires on. You know, they got about 10,000 miles now, and I'm already starting to wear. I'll be running the Road 5s. And now this year, they've got some good Road 5 tires. So, I'll be running a 150-60, not a 70, a 150-60, 17 in the rear. And I'll be doing the, you know, the per usual 120-70-17. Seems to be working the best, although I've got a good amount of chicken strip left here. Um, I might actually go with a 110 instead. They do make a 110 70 17, which might be a little better, a little less, more weight reduction, better fuel economy, better. And the 110 is going to give you a little more of a realistic feel of the Bonneville, which comes with the 100 uh, 18 front, so that same narrowness. But all in all, gotta say, man, it's been a sweet ride. Uh, it's. It's definitely getting there. I mean, I'm like I said, 55,000 miles and I am not sick of this machine. It just refuses to quit. Um, it's never left me stranded, gets me home every time. Um, even when I had the issues, it still got me home. So, uh, and that was two years ago. It's my starting, you know, we're a third way through the third, uh, my third season on this machine. And uh, I, I really see six figure numbers coming out of this. I'll definitely hit 100,000 miles on this machine uh, before I retire it for my next big mile cruiser type rider. So that's all I got, folks. If you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer all, all the questions, comments that all my viewers have and my subscribers have. Remember, you can find me at www.jetsmoto.com. You'll find all the means to get in touch with me outside of YouTube and you see other things and all the other folks that I'm associated with and been uh, hosting or co-hosting or guest appearance on. So make sure you check out all, over, all of those forms of media. Also check out my buddies over at Amen Moto. That's Doug and Scotty Amen. Uh, I'm going to try to see those cats in the next few weeks. So, um... Make sure you check out their media as well. Thanks for tuning in, folks. It's getting windy. I think it's the time. I think it's the calling. The calling of the open road. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go answer that calling with my 2018 Triumph Bonneville T120. Jed's signing out.